Today, I want to show you how to use an AccuRig or Character Creator 4 character as the third person character inside Unreal Engine 5.1. Let's begin with AccuRig. Here is my character. It is already rigged and ready to go. Let's go up to File, Export, Export FBX. In Target Application, choose Unreal. And I'm going to leave everything else at the default. Click export and choose a folder to save to. Give your character a name. Once complete, hit save. If you are using Character Creator 4, go to File, Export, FBX, Clothe Character. In the Target Tool preset, choose Unreal. In FBX Options, choose Mesh. Delete Hidden Faces. And if you are using Smoothing, Select Use Subdivided Mesh. If you want level of detail, select InstaLod. Keep Original Avatar. The number of LODs, I will go 5, the maximum. I've selected 2K. In Mesh Details, I'm going to select Normal because this character doesn't have much detail. Once complete, hit Export and OK. In my case, I already have a file. I'm going to overwrite it. Once this process is complete, we can jump over to Unreal Engine 5. Start by creating a new third person project, give it a name, and then hit create. With your project created, hit play and give it a test. Here is Quinn, and our project has been successful. Let's now change Quinn. In order to proceed, we're going to need a plugin, the auto setup for Unreal Engine. Hit free download on the Reillusion website. And Here's the download button. If for some reason you need previous versions, those are here. But for today, we need version 1.25. Hit download. Once downloaded, run the installer. Here is where the plugin will be installed. This will be important later. On completion, this file browser will open. Here are the various versions. We need the version for Unreal Engine 5.1. In the folder, there is a plugins folder and a contents folder. Go into the plugins folder and copy this folder here, RL plugin. We need to copy this to our Unreal Engine 5.1 plugins folder. Here is mine. And I'm going to place it in Marketplace and just paste here. I already have it. Go back to the shared plugins folder, go into content and copy the CC shaders folder. And now copy this to your project folder in content. There we go. The plugin is now installed. Now we need to enable this newly installed plugin. Go to Edit, Plugins, and search for Auto Setup, and enable the plugin. Hit Restart. The engine now will now restart. With the engine restarted, we can close the plugins window now. And if you look up here, there's a new icon. If we click the icon, this dialog box pops up. Go down to content and it's time now to create a folder. So go into the characters folder and we're going to create a folder. Name it what you want. I'm going to name mine AccuRig because that is the character I'm going to be using today. Go into this folder, right click and choose import. And I'm going to select my AccuRig character. Here it is. This dialog will pop up. I'm choosing the standard shader this time. If you want to use the high quality shader, you can at this point. When the FBX import dialog pops up, click on advanced. Choose use T0 as reference pose. Choose import morph targets and import mesh LODs. Make sure skeleton is set to none and then hit import. Your character should now be imported. Here's mine. 
I'm going to do a quick save all and then close that. What we're going to need now is an IK rig and some IK retargeting assets. In my previous tutorial, we had to create these manually, but this time we can take a shortcut. Go to content, characters, mannequin UE4, rigs, select all these three assets here. We have two IK retargeters and an IK rig. We're going to drag these over into our characters folder. and choose copy here. This is very important. Here are the assets. I'm going to create a new folder here and name it rigs. This is just to keep things tidy. Select the three assets we just placed here and drag those into the rigs folder. This time, move here. Open up the rigs folder. And we need to rename these assets. I'm going to name my IK rig AccuRig. And this is the UE4 Mane to UE5 Mane. I'm going to rename this AccuRig to UE5. Next. I'm going to rename the UE5 money to UE4 money to UE5 to AccuRig. Like so. Open up the IK rig. And you will be presented with UE4 money. In a preview mesh, choose your character and hit reset. And then do a save all you now have an IK rig. Let's open up UE5 to AccuRig. Go to target IK rig asset and set it to our character's IK rig. If we go to the asset browser and type idle, we can find an idle animation, MF idle. And as we can see, the character is rigged and retargeting is working. There are some issues around the shoulders. That is because of how I rigged it in AccuRig. Go to Source Preview Mesh and set it to Quinn. And that's it. We're all set up. Close this. Next, we need to set up an animation blueprint. I'm going to right click, go to Animation and choose Animation Blueprint. I'm going to choose my character Skeleton. And then click Create. I'm going to give this a name that I can remember. And then I'm going to open up the animation blueprint. In the anim graph, I'm going to search for retarget pose from mesh. And I'm going to connect this to the output pose. I'm going to come over to the details panel here in IK retarget to asset. I'm going to choose my retargeter. In this case, it's RTG UE5 Mane to AccuRig because I want to retarget from UE5 to my AccuRig character. You can double click on this to have a look. This is what I mean. Now it is time to do the third person setup. I'm going to go to content, third person, blueprints and open the third person blueprint. If we click viewport, we can see Quinn. Select mesh and click the add button and search for skeletal mesh and add. Give this a name, in my case, AccuRig. I'm going to come over to the details panel, go to skeletal mesh asset and choose my character and hit compile and save. Obviously, our character currently isn't animated. In order to do this, we go over to the Anim class and we find the animation blueprint I just created. And with that set, we now hit Compile and Save. And as you can see, the character is now animated.
We can still see Quinn, so in order to change this, select Mesh and search for Visible. And uncheck Visible. And then type Vis. And we're looking for Optimization, Advanced, Visibility Based Anim Tick option. Select Always Tick Pose and Refresh Bones. Hit Compile and Save. Save All. Now, if we hit Play, our character is the third person character. If you want to support the channel, you can go to the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. Alternatively, you can go to buymeacoffee.com and support me that way. I really hope you found this helpful. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.